kick us off one by one, don't you? You put me in a really awkward position here, Chaz. No, I'm not. It's that cow. She's got you and half the men in this village running round after her. She's buying you like some tarty frock and you can't even see it. I've got me business to think of. Business, Sid? This is my home. Hiya. What the hell do you think you're playing at? Just giving Sid an hand. <sighs> don't you dare lift a finger to help that scab. <sighs> Thanks, Katie. You're pathetic, you know that. I'm sorry, Chaz, I really am. It's not just me that you're stabbing in the back, it's Katie as well, only she's too nice to say anything. Look, I better get to work, OK? See you both late. Hope you can live with yourself, cos I'm sure as hell know that I couldn't. <sighs> Good luck, Chaz, I mean it. Come on, Bob. Never mind you swanning off all innocent. Just be careful of Sadie, she'll be after you next. Oi, Sid! You forgot something. Hey, you wanna watch this? Giant A stats does not knock a sake out. Oh, you watching Open University again? Wrestling. Yeah, from like a hundred years ago. Look, it's not my fault that Andy's too cheap for satellite. Where is he anyway? Market said he'll be out all day and he wants me to keep his tea in the oven. Hey! How am I supposed to sleep with all this going on? Well, you should have been up ages ago anyway. What's this? Something well, Ethan lent me. Yeah, well, turn it off, it's doing me head in. No! The lad can't hear trailer trash scrapping, all right? Right, I want my own CD player. Right, well, go out and knit yourself one. Some dad you are. <laughs> Haven't you got a church meeting to attend or something? Very funny. <sighs> you kids know how to live, don't you? Eh? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be 60 pence. There is such a thing as being too honest, you know. No, there isn't. Have a nice day. Paddy, everything's going to change, isn't it? Everything eventually, um, see you later. The kings are trying to destroy our village. It's a bit harsh, Emily. I think of that field as our back garden. Now they want to build a great big house in the middle of it. Well, I talked to him. He seems like a nice bloke and he knows I'm concerned. Yeah, well, that wouldn't have stopped him when he wanted to build him the cricket pitch, would it, given half the chance? I just don't want to see our village ruined. I'm on the case, am I? Paddy the bed. Ethan the, um, curate. Just this, please. Hi, right, Paddy. Oh, this is where you hide when you're supposed to be working. I need a reward. I've been touring all the local farms, trying to drum up support for the Harvest Festival. Ethan, um, you've had a letter from Malawi. Neve. That'll be 80 pence, please. Oh. You must be missing her. Yeah, well, we'll always be friends. Just trying to get on with the rest of my life. Have you heard from Laurel? Arrived safely. Both of you with partners overseas. Still, if you're ever really lonely, at least you'll have each other for company. I paid 300 for that. Yeah, all right, keep your voice down. What are we doing here, anyway? Well, things are that mad at home. I told Chaz I was on an early shift just to get away. Sid's moved out, then. Yeah, you should have seen Chaz having a go at him. Well, she's still got you there, aren't you? I mean, I love her to bits, and you know I think she's right about sticking up for the kings, but I'm only sleeping on the sofa, and I can see where Sid's coming from. He's got to think about his work, hasn't he? Well, at least you haven't got to rely on the kings on that front. Well, I wasn't, but... Well, Sadie's hinted there might be an opening for me there, too. This is ridiculous. You can't stay in there forever. Well, you'd like me to go out, wouldn't you? So then you can steal them and change the lot. <laughs> well, I'm lucky, love, because I've got the day off. Oh, I can wait. Hmm, you know what? I'm feeling a bit peckish. I think I might go and have some lunch. Have a nice day. Is that meant to be a dirty look? Or are you just pleased to see me? What do you think you're doing with Katie? Nothing. Why? What would you like me to do? You're putting her in a difficult situation. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? You're trying to play her off against her mates. All I did was say there may be a possibility of a job sometime. What's wrong with that? Why? You're worried she might grow out of you. Hey? Do you know something? You'd be very cute if you weren't so very young. You're blushing. Hmm? 
Sweet. Bye, Robbie. It's Robert, actually. You are heading up in the world. Appreciate your coming. Do you know, I haven't made a house call in 20 years. Not that I mind. Can't usually find room in the diary. I know. You must have patients queuing round the block. Oh, never mind about them. I'm supposed to be playing a four ball in half an hour. Good job you owe me a favour then, isn't it? <laughs> Good to see you, Jimmy. What's the big secret? Fancy a stroll? Far longer than Laurel. And don't! I'm not putting it on all the way. Just seeing what it feels like. Has Simon not got round to the ring yet? Mm. I don't suppose I could borrow this. Just no! Suit yourself. It's only an engagement ring. Buy me. Mm. Katie. Yeah? Um, I've had a word with Tom and Jimmy about the possibility of you coming to work for us. Well? Well, I think I can swing it for you. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet. Right. You know, if you ever need to talk about anything, um... Oh, thanks. One word of advice, though. If you are thinking about a career, living in a squat probably isn't the best place to start. Yeah. Going up to the pharmacy, Andy. Is he in? Um, yeah, as far as I know. Why are you coming up? Yeah, pop in. I just put a right about what she's doing to Chaz, and then I come in here and find you sucking up to her in front of everyone. We were discussing the possibility of a job one day, all right? Don't tell me you're even tempted, Katie. Not after everything that's gone on. I haven't said I'll do it. Well, good. I'd be mad not to keep my options open, though, wouldn't I? Hiya. Hi. How was the break with the kids? Oh, it was all right. Have you seen Chaz? Oh, why would I? You know, Tom is furious with her. Why? I'm going to have to ask him. Oh, Carl, will you get oh. me in the... Hiya. Hello? Is Chaz working? That's a contradiction in terms. Stay in the game, please. Sure. I thought she was supposed to be in today. She was. She just phoned in sick. Oh, poor thing. Right, I'll see you later. Yeah, well, poor thing is going to get away just up for skiving. Why does she do it often? Oh, even when she's here, I feel like I'm working on my own. Oh, oh one for yourself, too. Thanks. Andy's probably out in the field somewhere. She'll go and find him. I mean, it is coming up to the busiest time of year, you know, harvest. Did you hear something? No, oh, why? Over there. Oh, come on, Kane, please, let us out! Kane! Kane, open the door! Kane, please, just open it, please, Kane. Kane, come on, please. Daz, what are you doing in there? Lock myself in, didn't I? That's not possible. Yeah, well, I did. All right? Now shut up about it. Come on. I think Andy might be on the top field.
Patch up, so they say. All yours, yeah. Cheers. The kings want to build a big mansion in the field next to our cottage, and I can't believe you don't have an opinion on that. <sighs> Emily, just because I'm not yet chained to the fence doesn't mean to say I'm not concerned. Mock Tudor's my guess. Though why they should stop at once, beyond me, they could get an entire Mock Tudor executive estate on that field. Mock Tudor treble garages and on every roof a Mock Tudor satellite dish pointing to what they'll probably turn into a Mock Tudor moon. You don't think they'll build a whole estate here, Paddy? No, we've not got planning permission for a start. There's ways of means of getting planning where there's money involved. Here it's Greenbelt. It's not in keeping with the rest of the village. These are people who wanted to build on village cricket pitch, for heaven's sake. I mean, how could we ever trust them? It's the business. Four white kings don't take very kindly to people standing in their way. So, what's your end of the bargain? Water the plants, scare away the burglars. Oh, if she knew you like I did, she'd sooner have the burglars. <laughs> but you didn't invite me over for a stroll in the country. Sadie and me, we've been trying for kids. Really? For over a year. Oh. I just want to know why it's not happening. Right. Well, your general health's not a problem. You could cut down on the wine, get more exercise. Couldn't be all. I'm doing all that. Relations with Sadie, all right, in the bedroom. OK. How often? Dave? A couple of times a week, maybe. Stressed at work? No more than usual. What's going wrong, Dave? Dave! And then all the wheat's harvest and starting to grain silo until it's sold to the bakery and cereal people. Wheat? Is that right? Yeah. Only I could have sworn that Andy just farmed barley and kale here. Well, you didn't tell me you knew much about farming. Runs in the family. Oh, right. So basically, you've let me rabbit on about all this rubbish and said nothing. You tell a great story, Debbie, whether it's true or not. Now, that thing with the big wheels, is is that a tractor? Uh-huh. So where's your boss? I don't know. I remember he said he might check the fences near the stream. Come on, not much further. Tom finds out about this. I really appreciate it. I'm gagging for a cuppa. Yeah, well, don't ask me again, cos refusal often offends. No? Oh, for a minute there, I thought we were family. You know something? You can't win this, Chaz. You want to hear how they are talking. Carl's name is Dirt, and that's just for going out with you. I mean, why don't you just give up? Save yourself the bother. Because I have never given up on anything in my whole life. Yeah? And look where it's got you. Cuppa. <sighs> look, I've, um, I've got another favour to ask Forget you. Forget it. This was my year's quarter. Look, have a word with Tom on my behalf. Yeah, right. Oh, please, come on, Charity. You've got him right round your little finger. Only when it suits him to be, Charles. Don't bother, then. You've absolutely no idea what you're up against, have you? So what you're saying is you're going to turn your back on your family without even giving it a try? I came, didn't I? I'm going to slip out the back. I never thought I'd see the day. Yeah, well, I've got too much to lose, haven't I? Hiya. Oh, am I glad to see you. I'd need to have you both in for tests. I didn't really want to evolve, Sadie, at this stage. It's going to be hard fathering a kid without her knowing. What kind of tests? Well, for you, it involves a specimen jar and a quiet room. And that's only for starters. Great. I was just hoping for some friendly advice. Look, either we do the test, Jimmy, or you just let nature take its course. Ring Jenny. You can have an appointment any time. Market's the only time I don't look forward to, really. Andy wants me to go with him, but I couldn't know him what's going to happen. Do you have names for all of them? What do you call that guy? I don't be <laughs> daft. How can you even tell him apart? You know what, Debbie? In the short time, I've known you. I don't think I've ever seen you this happy. Happy? Busy, maybe. And the lads do take a bit of organising. Yeah, well, I'm sure they appreciate having a woman about the place again. You don't seem to do that tight job in the lately, either. No? Well, maybe I'm just enjoying the walk. You were gone so long, I didn't think you were coming back. Well, you could have rung us. Yeah, well, now you are here, maybe you can have a word with that family of yours. Well, what do you want me to say? Say that this is my home. 
Look, they can try whatever they want, but I'm not getting out of that door. But they own the place now, don't they? Yeah, and I'm a sitting tenant. The law's on my side. I was kind of hoping that you would be an all. I am. I'm just trying to see it from their point of view. Why? Because my dad's not known for wasting money, and I've never known Sadie not get her own way. Yeah, well, she's met me now, hasn't she? Look, the more of a fight you put up, the more she'll want to win. I was kind of hoping you'd be a bit more supportive. I want to be, Chaz, but whatever we do, they'll just chuck more money at the problem. Have they sent you around to soften me up? <laughs> you don't really believe that, do you? Well, for all I know, you might be the secret weapon. Listen, I've thought about nothing else while I was away than coming home to see you. And if you want to have a fight, then I'm right by your side. But right now, if you're quite finished being angry with me, why don't we go upstairs and I can show you exactly how much I have missed you. Hmm? Come on, man. <laughs> you know, you still haven't mentioned it. Mentioned what? Dyer's in the outhouse. <laughs> Is that the kind of thing that happens here every day? Well, it's my dad's sense of humour, it's just a bit different. You know, I have to admit, Debbie, there was a time when I was very worried about you. Why? I thought you might be destined to go off the rails a little. You haven't had the easiest of starts. I don't know. I think having you around helped, though. There weren't really anybody I could talk to at home. Well, that's not just one-way traffic, you know? And the first time we met was in the church, and you thought I was nicking the collection box. Well, I didn't know you then. What, and you think you know me now? A little, I guess. You don't really talk about yourself much. Well, I'm trying to keep that air of mystery about me. The truth is, is that I'm very shy. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Ethan, you're the most confident person I know. No. Neve used to always say to me, you make such a better listener, which is probably just as well, because she never stopped talking. I remember the first time I ever met her, I was just sitting there. No. What? That was wrong. No, it isn't. That shouldn't have happened. Ethan, we both wanted it to. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, I have to go. Ethan, wait! Hiya. What's going on here, then? I oh, wouldn't show you were in. Oh, yeah, we went for a lie down, didn't we? Carl was a bit tired after his travels. I am now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you watching? Just some film. And there's loads of food left if you want some. Oh, thanks. Where's he going? You should see a guy he knows. Why? Just trying to find out who he is. Ah. So this guy knows, but he doesn't. I'm lost. Is he there yet? Jazz. What? Just watch the film. Oh. What's that? Oh, great. Is everything off? I don't believe this. You know who's responsible, don't you? Well, she doesn't hang around, does she? Around... about... now. Hmm? What? Pear Tree Cottage. I'm having the power cut off. <laughs> you have been busy. No wonder my dad likes you. What's the matter, Jimmy? I'm all right. Now, you're not usually one for keeping secrets. Is there anything I can do? I saw David Anders today. Why? Is there something wrong? You're not ill, are you? No. Well, then what? I've been a bit worried... about how you're not pregnant yet. <sighs> How many times have I told you? It can take some people years. You've just got to be patient. I want a family. And I want to be young enough to enjoy them. And I'm sure you will be. I want to be sure that we've got every chance. I mean, have you had a checkup or anything? Are you saying you think it may be my fault? Well, it has to be one of us. There's no harm in having a few tests done, is there? I'm not letting David Anders anywhere near me. He's a doctor. He also tries to chat me up every time your back's turned. David! Oh, oh, it's harmless enough. Nothing I can't handle. I just want to know what's going on. Maybe there's something we can do. Jimmy, you've just got to relax about the whole thing. I just think we need to practice more often. And if nothing happens in the next few months, then we should think about what we should do. OK? Ethan, you can't just run away. You have to leave me alone now. How can I? You have to. Look, you can't pretend like it didn't happen. It shouldn't have. It was a mistake. If you feel anything from me, you'll forget about it. Look, I never will.
all right. Debbie, you and I are not going to be alone together again, okay? I can't see you anymore. Ethan, don't just walk off! Just leave me alone! Kane? Hey. Nice mort, sir. What are you doing here? I was looking for Andy. Were you? Yeah, the, uh, the Harvest Festival. What about it? Just trying to get all the local farms involved. Was well, Debbie not around? Couldn't see her, no. Well, she likes that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, uh, I better be going. Uh, Andy's away. Right, well, uh, I'll see him another time then, yeah? Right, well, you do that. <laughs> 